Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So today's video is going to be a very, very quick one, but what we're going to be going over is how to change the engine scalability settings, or basically the graphics in editor, so that Unreal Engine 5 will run a lot smoother on your PC. Now again, this is going to be very quick and very basic to do, however it's something I have been asked quite a lot, so I thought I'd just make a video on it, just so that I don't get asked it too much, and I can just link this, so it's nice and easy to explain and show off for everyone. Now yours may already be changing it automatically, but even if it is, it might still be too high for you. So all we're going to do is in the viewport here, we're going to go up to settings in the top right, and then we're going to go down until we find engine scalability settings, and then we can just change them here. So you can use these presets all the way up here, so you can set it to low, so everything will be on the worst quality, or we can go on cinematic, so everything will be on the best quality, or what you can do is even customize it for each individual one, like so, so you can have some medium, some high, some low, some epic, some cinematic, really whatever you want to do, you can just change it like this, or again what you can do is press auto, so it would do it automatically for you for what is best for your system, as you can see mine has given me epic, perfectly like so. But that's pretty much it, all we're going to go over today, like I said this is very basic and very simple, but something which I have been asked an awful lot, because Unmagin 5 doesn't work very smoothly on their system, but whenever I've said to change this, it has helped them a significant amount, it's really increased their FPS of what to be able to do. Obviously it doesn't look as good, but once we start moving about it does look a lot better. So still obviously not as good as Epic, so this is the lowest, and this is Epic. It's mainly the lighting that's different, but obviously this is just in editor. Once you package the game it will still look perfectly like this, so even if you are creating the game looking like this, once you package and export the game it will still be able to look like this. All we're doing is changing how it looks in editor, not in the finished game. That way you can really just focus on creating it and making it perfect for you while also running it nice and smoothly. So I think that'll be it for this video, it's so done everything you want to do. Again, very very simple, just changing the engine scalability graphics or the in editor graphics. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.